probably the last break of the year. Let's make it hot. 2017, 18. Uh, well, whatever. 2017. Contenders football. Full case POT number three. Let's uh, let's have at it. Locked, loaded, ready to go. Let me slide this over. Because it is a store break, so you know the deal already. Going to be up on the screen momentarily. Uh, let me put this in alphabetical order. Just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, I just want to give a special shout out to my boy Chris Blessing. Shout out to you, my man. You truly are a blessing. MVP right here. Go ahead and open this thing. Oop. All right, y'all. Let's open up the case. All right. Let's see what we have. put uh abraham up there all right y'all guys oh hold up good luck everybody good luck everybody yeah he's running out of battery all right good luck y'all let's see what happens here Space here. It's a little cramped. What else? We're gonna see about sixty autographs in this case. So lots of hits to be had, lots of hits to go around. Let's make it happen. So guys, anybody want to finish off a baseball break with cards on the floor? I got four spots left in Diamond Kings Baseball, four box banger, three random teams per spot. Diamond Kings is pretty nice stuff, man. Get that thing filled up. I have six spots left in a Bowman High Tech Baseball, four box banger, random divisions on that bad boy. Talk to me, folks. Talk to me. Got Bowman's best personals in the store. Or is this really going to be the last break of the year? Oh, that was ugly. There it is. Mm -hmm. oh. Gonna take more time opening the packs than I am actually gonna go through. All right, here we go. Good luck, you guys. Let's unleash the fire. Here we go. So starting us off, CJ Bethard of the Niners with the hit. Chris already starting it off. All right, there's our vets. These here, we'll random at the end. It'll be a simple random. It's either gonna go to the left or the right team. T 
TJ Watt to 99 for the Steelers. That is a nice hit. I told yeah, pretty much. And Travis, I'm telling you, man, I got some ballers in here. It ain't just you. It ain't just you, Travis, that's balling. There you go, Ste uh, Steelers. Somebody get Ziggy in here. He's going to be happy with that. That's a nice hit. What else we got? Room is slowly growing. The room is slowly growing. That's what I'm talking about. By this time next year, I'm going to be working nonstop. I'm barely going to have time to talk shit. Sad as that's as sad as that is. For the Redskins, Josh Harvey Clemens. That's a pretty uh, lazy autograph, my dude. What else we got? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Von Miller to 249 for the Broncos. Let me move the camera over. Here. Redemption here for Kyle Shanahan. Coach's ticket. Kyle Shanahan. Isn't that the Redskins coach? I'm not exactly sure. Thank God for the checklist. I'm going to check that real quick. Sorry I took the teams off the screen, but as you can see, I'm navigating the checklist. So, Kyle. Kyle Shanahan goes to the Niners, actually. It's a good thing I checked. So, Kyle Shanahan, card number 300, goes to the, uh, the Cardinals. It goes to the Niners, the 49ers. All right, let me write that down. There you go. Alrighty, what else we got? We have Rasul Douglas for the Eagles autograph. Little late on that one, Ra Ra. You're late for the gang bang. To one eighty nine, Carlos Henderson, Taiwan Taylor. Round three, numbers game thing, dear. That'll get randomed at the end. Did you just say Taco Bell? Delvin Tomlinson of the Giants with an autograph. I'm getting hungry. They're talking about tacos over there on the Pokemon Breaker side. All right, that's it for the first box. All right, one box down, 11 more to go. You had it before you I looked it up. Man, you was late in the chat, man. You, you was, oh, I already know what it was. You were sitting on one hand, and the other was, you know, dilly and the dallying. But that other half is too. I was also not watching the chat. That's all for sure. Yeah, that YouTube delay is no joke. I wish there was something I could do about it, but there's really not. 
Well, actually, I could put a delay on the stream and try to figure. I just need to figure out what the delay is from the stream to YouTube, and then I'll put you know that delay on the video. I I'll figure it out. I'll come in uh, on Tuesday a little bit earlier and try to try to you know do a bunch of stuff here. Start the new year off right, you know. Kind of want to clean up the office too. Move stuff around, you know. Maybe maybe adjust the feng shui a little bit. See what's in the second box. We have the 249 Julio Jones Falcons. The man is a blessing. The man is a blessing. Shout outs to uh, to my boy Terry as well. But Terry's the one that brought him in. Nothing too crazy just yet. Buddy uh, Bernard Reedy for the Bucks with an autograph. To no one's surprise, going to uh, Chris. the Bucks, Jeremy McNichols on card auto. <coughs> Ooh. Wow, what is this? <coughs> For the charges on card auto. For Mike Williams. Chris is cleaning up. As he should be. What else we got? MVP contenders insert to Dak Prescott for uh, to 199. Isn't there? Oh, there is football going on t uh, tomorrow or today, I should say. I get to see the Dolphins lose again. Yay. All right, I need some water. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways. George Kittle of the Niners with the autograph. Then top load that. Boom. Thing here. Thing there. All right, I need something to wow me. Robert Kelly on card auto. Veteran ticket right there for the Redskins. I want to see something crazy. For the Colts, Anthony Walker Jr. With the autograph. Nothing. 
nothing here. A Watson would be so sick. Well, that doesn't belong. Those are veterans. All right, second box done. Let's keep it going. This is trash. All these kid reported cards go somewhere. Guys, fill up those baseball breaks on the website. Keep in mind, if you haven't made a purchase on the website, you can save $15 by registering for an account. So go to ripcitycards.com, register for an account, and you can save 15 bucks on your first purchase. A gift code will get emailed to you once you register for an account. All right, guys, I still have a full case of preferred in the store. Still have some Diamond Kings baseball. Let's get it going, folks. Come on. There you go. Spend more time opening the packs than I do actually going through the cards. There's like five cards per pack in this. 24 packs in a box. What's up, Michael Butler? Is there going to be another PYT for contenders in the store? Uh, Michael, probably not because I don't have any more cases of it. But I do have nine loose boxes that I've been using for personals. Um, I could probably put, that, put those nine boxes together as a PYT or something. But I don't think people are going to want to buy into a PYT that's not a full case, you know? So if you're interested, Michael, in get into getting into some contenders, man, I do have personal boxes, bro. Uh, each box contains at least five autographs on average. Let's see what else we have in this box. Box number three right here. Taco Charlton. Talking about tacos. For the Cowboys. A half case might work. This is true. I'll figure something out. You know, we're not going to be live tomorrow. So we'll we'll have that up for Monday. Breaking with the cardboard Jesus. Chris Warmly for the Ravens, the autograph. What up, Jim Took? Still got those baseball breaks also to fill in the store. Nothing here. Here we go. Deshaun Kaiser. On card auto for the Browns. Nice hit right there for Chris. Who deserves nice things in his life? Gotta pull some uh, some cheats from a boy Paul. Why are these backwards? Whatever. Guys, if you're in this case break, come through the chat. Say hey, Uncle Jesse. Where's my hit at, dog? And then watch me pull it for you. Here you go, a little Packer love for Paul to 49. Vince Beagle. With the refractor auto, that's pretty sweet. Nothing here. Nothing 
in here. Ziggy needs a juju. Ziggy, you know I pulled you a TJ Watt already, right? I'm just I'm just saying. For the Rams, there goes that goes to Terry to 99. John Johnson. Look at the guns on that dude. Would hate to get hit by him. Nice hit right there for the Rams. Very nice. Nothing here. Nothing here. For the Cardinals to 99, Larry Fitzgerald. Hold up, I could have sworn I'd make something up here. Yup. Ziggy used all his luck in the last <laughs> absolute break. To 99, 99 out of 99, Sidney Jones, Kevin King. The round two insert, that'll have to get random, as I said. We'll do that at the end of the break. Simple random for those. It's either going to go to the left or right team. Emmett Smith or Zeke Otto would be sweet for Michael. You got it, my dude. Did hit you a taco so far, though, Mike. Let's see what else can happen here. I want. There's got to be. A, I'm pretty sure I got like one of those tools. You know, when I went to that panini party, a panini VIP party, might I add, uh, for the national, they uh, they gave me some swag, gave me a hat, a lunch bag, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and included in that Greg bag of stuff, there was like this toolkit to like to like cut packs. I think it was to cut packs. I'm not sure. It, was, it, was, it wasn't a box cutter like this, you know. But it had like a whole bunch of like little tools. I think I still have it at the crib. I wonder if it'll help me open up packs faster. Your trash bag. Here we go. Niceness right here. Kenny G for the Lions. Chris laying blessings on blessings on blessings. That's a nice hit right there. The rookie ticket on card auto. Kenny G. What else we got here for the peeps? Nothing there.
for the Browns. That's a sick one right there. Jabril Peppers with the rookie ticket auto. Sick. Very nice, Browns. To 99, Derek Carr of the Raiders. Very nice. Put that there, put that there. Need something sick here. A biscuit would be ridiculous. Oh, wow. Is that an auto? Oh, man. Damn it. They got me. Yeah, when they're backwards like that, I automatically assume they're autos. To 99, Zeke Elliott with the championship ticket insert. They don't tease me. They, they don't tease me on that one. For the Dolphins, Raekwon McMillan with the autograph. I would say it's a good one, but I haven't seen him play yet. You know, he, he was hurt his entire rookie year. So it remains to be seen. Could be a good one. Could be a good one. Well, we got to wait a year, though. Well, not a year, a few months. Rooting for you. And he's an Eagles fan. That's what I'm talking about. Spread that good karma. Spread that good karma. Well, put any points, 150 of them. We'll have to random that at the end. So that replaces an autograph. That fucking sucks. We'll random that at the end of the break. Jonu Smith. Cracked ice auto. 8 of 25 for the Titans. That is sick. That looks so sick. Kind of a crazy auto, though. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Put that there. Alright, that's it for that box. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what I have here. I wish I had more absolute basketball. Uh, cards on the floor. I, I I don't know what's going on in the store, but last I checked, it was still at four spots. Cards on the floor.
still need to see something huge. Come on. Alright, here we go. Well, I'm not even going to wait for this one. Cameron Hayward. I'm sorry, Cameron Hayward. Number to 199 for the Steelers. Very nice. Anyone want to split the two uh, two spots of Diamond Kings each? And we get that four box banger going tonight. There you go, Steelers, Cameron Hayward. That H looked like an N at the beginning, so hence the uh, mispronunciation. But anyway. For the Ravens, Tim Williams, 41 out of 49, the autograph. Mm, there you go. Anyone want to split Diamond Kings with cards on the floor? Got four spots left in that Diamond Kings. Get in the chat, folks. Talk to each other. Let's keep the rigs going. Another Taco Charlton for the Cowboys. This one numbered 93 out of 99. I'm out of top loaders. Need to re-up. God, that is so fucking sick. It's just staring at me in the face. All right, I'm going to try to compose myself and go through the rest of this stack. Oh, my God. Yo, Chris, you about to be happy as fuck. That is such a nice card. All right, let's get through this. Maybe there's some, maybe there's some fire here. I don't know. To 99. Of the Browns, the Bro Peppers. That card right there is crazy. I'm just saying. Heads, we were. I've been looking for a hit that's gonna blow our minds, and I think I just found it. 299, Josh McCown, Jets. here almost there all right guys for the texans you already know what it is it's a cracked ice number to 25 holy crap it's so nice deshaun watson that is so sick that is so sick i wonder how much i wonder how much that card will go for holy crap it would be even better if that was his jersey number. One number away from his jersey number, too. Then it would have been an eBay 101. So sick. So, so sick. Put that up there. Gosh, that's nice. There you go, Chris. See, blessings. You bless us, we bless you. For the Falcons, uh, DeMonte Kazee. I think that's how you pronounce that name. Kind of crazy. There you go, Falcons. Rich getting richer right there. Probably going to finish out that box. Yup. Insane autograph, man. Holy shit. All right, is anybody willing to uh, kill the Diamond Kings with cards on the floor? 
My man's willing to split the last four spots in Diamond Kings. Any other takers here that are watching? Come through and say something. All right. Let's see what's in this. This is the sixth box, so halfway there. Halfway there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Put, ooh, ooh. Put that up right there. You already know, Travis. How'd you know? Damn, Travis got a good ear. Actually, is that Zelda? No, that's Smash Brothers. It's Smash Brothers. Or it could be both. I'm not I think it's both. How does how does it go again? No, Chris. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think it was the Hyrule level on Smash Brothers. Dude, Smash Brothers was fucking awesome. But the reason why I'm whistling it is because uh, Mario, he plays like video game music and shit. And I know damn near like all the songs, so I, I can't help but like whistle to some of the stuff. Man, I, you know what? I need to buy like a Nintendo Switch or something. Do they do they have a new Smash Brothers game? Do they have a new Smash Brothers game? I uh, dude, I want to play that Zelda Breath of Fire or whatever it's called. Which I it's it's been it's one like it won like game of the year. For the Jets, Chad Hansen, the autograph. Jets get a hit. You and the kids have been playing it a lot on the Wii. Hell, I would too. Tell me, please tell me you're smashing them though. I hope you're not letting them win. I hate that. Jalen Myrick of the Jaguars. Terry getting a hit right there. Pulling for the Fournette for you, my dude. See what else we can get. You win 99% of the time, you better shit. You know, I hate how nowadays they give kids like participation trophies. Like, hell no, nah, man. Win or lose. Dino Pumphrey, Eagles. Winning for the Eagles. Auto right there. Let's top load this thing. Sweetness. <laughs> here, I'm going to hit you with a Zelda one for real here.
Amar Darbo for the Seahawks. You already know. On card auto. That is nice. So sweet. What else we got? A Kareem Hunt would be nice. You want to make an appearance? Make this a super ridiculous hot case. Sydney Jones, Eagles Auto. Ziggy just not, just does not know when to stop hitting. The man does not know how. That's in this house. Got a redemption for Jamal Williams. Rookie ticket variation RPS. Jamal Williams. Now, there's probably a few Jamal Williams in the league. So, let me just double check that goes to the right person. Before I... Because I am automatically assume it's a Packer. Uh, card number 361... Yep, goes to the Packers. Just had to make sure. It's always nice to be 100%. There you go. Packers. Jamal Williams. Redemption hit a Joe Way. You go, Paul. Still trying to get you some Chiefs hotness, though. In here. There. Hunter Henry to 99 for the Chargers. That is nice. All right, so half a case down, another half to go. Where do you stay at, Travis? You you over there in the Midwest? By the way, shout outs to the Midwest, man. I, I fucking fell in love with the Midwest this year. Uh, actually, I had the opportunity to go uh, travel to um to the national in illinois this year and i had a blast man the people the people are very nice oh you live in utah i feel like you've told me this before but you know uh, i'll be forgetting how do you like it out there in utah travis like geologically i bet it's uh, beautiful you know What's the craziest thing you've seen happen out there in Utah? Like, what natural disasters do y'all have to worry about? Like blizzards, I'm assuming, probably. Do you gotta? Do you guys gotta worry about like Yetis and shit? Well, then, Brandon, shame on you. Shame on you for not believing in me, Brandon. How about you get some spots in Diamond Kings, though? I got my boy. Uh, Cards on the floor in here, trying to buy two spots. He wants to, you know, just murder that thing. It's run by Mormons. It's run by Mormons. Well, I, I do like the Mormons' belief in me having multiple wives. You wanted the, you wanted the freaking Browns. Well, it, it's, you, you're not gonna like that I pulled the Deshaun Kaiser autograph then. Avalanches in the mountains, flooding along the rivers, occasional earthquakes, but mainly drought. Really? You guys deal with droughts in Utah? They did away with that. Only one wife now? Well, oh, well, fuck the Mormons, then. 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, Mormons, come on, man. You guys were on to something with that multiple wife thing. Second or third driest state in the nation? Damn, that's not good. I'll send you a case of water one of these days, Travis. I guess I guess there's something to be said for living in Miami. It's you know we're pretty we're pretty good here. I mean the only real natural disasters we deal with are hurricanes really. Sometimes tornadoes things like that. But yeah. All right, what do we have here? Oh, you mean dry state like as in like you can't buy like you can't buy alcohol. Yeah, you know, that really that really that really fucked with me when I went to Georgia and could you believe it on Sundays you you can't buy alcohol? Like what the fuck? Marlon Mac on card auto for the coats. Oh, rain as well. Gotcha. That's crazy. I don't know if I could do that. That's that's kind of nuts. I guess I'm I guess I'm accustomed to that city living where we have stupid like two we have too many amenities. But, you know, the people out here are assholes, really. This is uh, pretty sick. Who got the Broncos? Chris got the Broncos. Who got the Titans? Chris got... There you go, Chris! Dual auto. I don't got to random this because it goes to the right, the same person. Number 5 out of 49, Carlos Henderson and Taiwan Taylor. The only thing that would have made that sicker if it was the Biscuit and Watson. That is sick. That is so nice. Yeah, you know, you don't gotta worry about buying alcohol down here. You know, there's there's liquor stores that are open twenty four seven. You just gotta know where to find them. Um. Yeah, dude, I I couldn't I couldn't. I don't know, man. I'm used to that city living. You know, kind of a fast paced kind of lifestyle. You know, whereas in the Midwest, a little bit slower. I like it though. To 250, put any points, we'll random that. People are, are a lot nicer, I feel, in the Midwest. Or at least in Illinois and Rosemont, where I was at. They were really nice. Or maybe they were so nice because they were scared of me. I don't know. To 99, Steve Young, the legendary contender. Insert. What do we have here? For the Texans, Texans with another nice hit to 99, DeAndre Hopkins. That is nice. That is nice. What else we got here for the folks? What is he on? For the... Buccaneers, Kendall Beckwith, the auto. Here we go, books. How expensive is Utah? Like, if I wanted to live there, what's an apartment cost? Because Miami is expensive as fuck. You got some new shit, and you've been trying to make a... Ah, uh, Brandon. <laughs> That is fucking hilarious. That sounds like me, dog. Me in about a... Well, whenever I get out of here anyway. You already know I got to do the, my, my roll-up, baby. This is pretty fucking nice. For the Cardinals, man. Chris is just laying treats on us. Number 14 of 25... TJ Logan with the Cracked Ice Rookie Ticket Auto. That is sweet.
Dude, like, I'll tell you right now. I helped my mom with the mortgage and shit. And the mortgage is like 2500 or something. Something like that. Uh, I think it, it went up recently. Fucking interest rates and all that other bullshit. But, um, yeah. That's a, I feel like that's a lot of money. It's it's a five bedroom, two bathroom house, and it's pretty old. It was built in like the seventies, sixties. Doesn't really have a backyard. It's a cool little patio though. That's about it. Yours is only eight hundred a month. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's the beauty of living in Miami. It's expensive, man. It's. Ex I'm looking. I'm looking to go somewhere. Really, I have some family up in Georgia, but and I visit them. I visit them every so often. But Georgia's boring, man. Like, if I'm gonna live somewhere, I, like I need to have some kind of stimulation. So, for the longest, I wanted to go to California and live out there. Um, I could still do that. Well, I could do whatever I want. Let's start there. But uh, you know, the the Jaspy, uh, Mike Mike Jasperson. Has already told me that uh, if I do find my way out to California, I got a job with him in the Jaspies, so that's pretty cool. You know, do some breaks with the Jaspies, I don't know. So you did what now? Wow, Brandon. Oh, dude, how stoned are you right now? You have... A, yeah, we don't have basements here in, in Florida. We have attics, but barely. You know, because we got a hurricane-proof the crib, you know what I'm saying? But, dude, I was looking at, like, houses in Georgia... And for the mortgage that we pay in our, I think we, I think it's closer to 2200 uh, but still pretty high. And, dude, with a $2,200 mortgage in Georgia, I'd be in a fucking mansion with, like, five acres of land. I told my mom that shit, and she started salivating. She's like, well, shit, I'm moving to Georgia. You coming with? I'm like, hell no. Nah. My mom's low-key a G. Like, she has, like, she owns three houses down here. So I was telling her, I was like, listen, man, if you really want to do that, I'm just, let me stay in one of the houses. I'll pay the mortgage off there. And, you know, you, you, you just, 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 whatever. Just go. But I ain't going to Georgia. Hells no. I mean, I got to root for the Hawks, the Falcons, and the fucking Bulldogs? Hell no. Eddie Jackson of the Bears. Not a biscuit, but a hit for the Bears. Need to get some Jag Mojo for net. Got to hit you a four net, my dude. You deserve good things too, Terry. Let's see what I can do here for you. We hit a we hit a Watson, so a four net got to come out to play. Bone Thugs listening level. Oh, you up there. You are higher, higher, baby. <laughs> Nazir Jones. Or Nazair Jones. Pretty sweet. I, I kind of like the autograph. Kind of nice. Kept it all on the sticker, too. Shout outs to him. He went to autograph school. For the Seahawks, Nazair Jones. What else we got? Right, so, uh, Nothing there. Christian McCaffrey to 199 for the Panthers. No ink on it though. Need to see some ink on this big names. I'm kidding. I would live in Georgia. Georgia's not bad. Georgia's not bad. I, I kind of like it. 
Devontae Mays of the Packers, the autograph. But if I had my choice of, of where to live, I'm living in Japan, bro. Tokyo. And I'm chilling. Y'all just got to wake up real early. Or I got to, you know, wake up real late to do breaks with you guys. And you guys will still break with me if I move to Japan, right? You know, it'll be kind of it'll be cool scenery. You know what I'm saying? See the the Mount Fiji, and you see the Tokyo Tower. You know, I'll do some stuff in Kyoto. All all, all over the, all over Japan for the Giants. Ross Cockrell kind of sound dirty saying that last name. Hit for the Giants. Burn nash. Burn nash. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we hit the Watson, which is pretty huge. But uh, I'm greedy. I want something else. Maybe the Redemption can do it. There you go, Chiefs! Kareem Hunt from my boy Paul. Rookie ticket, variation RPS. That's a nice hit for the Chiefs. Now we just got to get some four net love from my boy, Terry. You guys have been talking about moving to Belize. Belize. Where's Belize in? Where's Belize at? I feel like I should know where that is. I feel like that's in South America. But I'm drawing blanks right now. To 249, Demarius Thomas of the Broncos. Like, y'all could go to Mexico and live like kings and queens out there. Or anywhere in South Central America. Dollars are gold pretty much out there. If you guys could live anywhere in the world and money is no object. Where would you live? Y'all know where I'm going. I'm going to Japan. No, without a shadow of a doubt. I'll deal with the typhoons. I don't care. I'll deal with Godzilla if I have to. But I'm going to I'm going to Japan. I'm going Super Saiyan on that Godzilla. I'll fuck him up. Let's fuck up these packs here. Tahiti or Fiji? Hey. You're going to Liberia to become a warlord. <laughs> that would be kind of uh, not cool, actually, Brandon. Travis loves the beaches. I love the beaches, too. Uncle Jesse loves the beaches. Tahiti. What country is that? Or is that the country, Tahiti? I feel like I should know this. I don't even know where Fiji's at. Where the hell? Fiji. Is that like New Zealand? Man, my, 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 my geology is all kinds of fucked up. I mean, being a warlord, uh, like, you got to be really cold-blooded. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to be a warlord, like, you got to be willing to kill children. And I don't know if I'm willing to do that. Same thing with a drug kingpin. Like, you got to be able to kill people's families if you don't get paid. And I'm, I'm cool on that. I would much rather be a gigolo in the red light district. <laughs> it's the Pacific Islands. Who, who owns that? So somebody's got to own that territory. Probably the queen or something. I don't know. What about North Korea? Nobody wants to visit North Korea? 
Go chill with uh, Kim Jong Il or whatever the fuck his name is. For the Panthers, Ben Bowyer. Still waiting on a McCaffrey here. Waiting on that Caffrey. Wherefore art thou Caffrey? Fiji is its own country, but Tahiti is French Polynesia. Oh. A quick Google search would have found that out for me, but you know, your boy put in work. For the Chiefs, Tano Passagnon, number two out of 25 for the Chiefs. That's pretty sweet. Tomas, come on, man. Come on, man. We, 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 we ending the year with a bang, baby. So being a diamond dealer in uh, Africa or an arms dealer is bad ideas, too. I mean, listen, far be it for me to tell you how to live your life. If you know, if you want to be running guns out there in Uganda, running with the Hutus and the Tutsus or whatever, I know that's off as fuck. But yeah, to 199 for the Jags, Blake Bortles, Len Fournette. Uh, I think, I think if you're talking what who has more fun, probably the drug kingpin has more fun. I feel like if you're gonna be a, a warlord, you just gotta be an you know you gotta be you gotta be an asshole 100 percent of the time and ruthless. Whereas a drunk kingpin, you know you have your moments where you're chilling, you know. For the Rams, Cooper Cup on card auto, nice hit for the Rams. There you go, Terry. That's that dude right there, Tomas. That's that dude. This is true. Tomas, let's ask you that question. If money was no object, where would you live? I'm saying Japan. I got some folks saying Fiji. I got some dudes saying he wants to run guns in, in Zimbabwe. Tredavious White for the Bills with the autograph. I did pose the question. I mean, listen, I'm not... No judgments here. You don't see. You don't hear me saying, "Oh, you're a fucked up person." Dude. No, you 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 have your opinion. You're entitled to it, and and I will always love you for it. Speak in your mind. I digs it. I digs it. Really, you got to think about it, Tomas. It was a no brainer for me. For the Seahawks, Malik McDowell with an autograph. Seahawks had a few hits. Uh, somebody got to take them to autograph school, though. Stay on the sticker, young man. Stay on the sticker. I mean, Brandon, I'm also in a shitty mood, but I got over it. Did you bet on the game or something? Because uh, that would have me in a shitty mood, too. I mean, I would have told any Hurricane fan that was betting on the Hurricanes to not do it. Because I had a feeling this was going to happen. They had, they had, they got two ahead of themselves. They, they got two big ahead. And, hey, they got two. Bob Miller to 249 for the Broncos. He's getting to whoever he wants. One of the best pass rushers in the game. You hear that sound? That means my trash is overflowing. Let's put this stuff away. We got three boxes left. New Zealand. Okay, good choice. New Zealand. Good choice. Good choice. Looking forward to your trip to Playa del Carmen in May. Just sitting on a bitch for a couple days with all the... Dude, that's for... I forgot. Travis, you're going on a cruise, baby. How long are you going to be in Miami for? Hold up. Are you leaving out of the port of Miami or are you leaving out of the port of Fort Lauderdale? 
Or are you leaving out of the... Well, I don't think you're leaving out of the port of Everglades. Because that's a commercial port. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, Brandon, for sure, man. Throw your use up. Throw your use up. I mean, I didn't go to the U, but I bleed orange and, and, and green just the same, you know? I grew up watching the Hurricanes, man. That's my team. And believe me, it hurts. Probably not as much as it does to you, being an, a legit alumni, but it still stings nonetheless, man. Oh, got it. Got it, Travis. Got it. Yeah, they were throwing the U up, and then they were like, and then they were ripping it in half. But that just that's just respect right there, dude. That's just respect. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you go you go to any campus that has a college football program and you throw up the U and they're gonna feel some type of way. People can talk about all people can talk about all the shit they want about how the U hasn't been the U since the nineties, early two thousands, blah blah blah. But everybody's still trying to play like us, everybody's still trying to emulate us, you know? And they still can't imitate what we do. You know, to this day, we still produce the most professional players in the NFL at the University of Miami. We have the most pro bowlers in the NFL out of any school. And that's included UNC and all those other teams. Alabama, blah, blah, blah. And ba we got baseball coming up. We got basketball coming up. Our basketball program, as of like the last five years, is probably top 10. Top, well, not maybe not top 10, but definitely top 20 in the nation. So, you know, the University of Miami is on its way up, man. You know, we, we dealt with some scandals. We dealt with some bullshit. But, you know, that's that's what great teams got to gotta endure, man. You know? All the great teams are always surrounded in controversy and and, and and some kind of deal, you know. So I love I love being a hurricane, man. I bleed orange and green to the day I die. We don't have to win another. We 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 if we went the rest of my life without winning a national championship, dude, I've already seen three. I already seen three in my lifetime. I'm chilling. The Dolphins, on the other hand, though. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh my God! But we're 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 working on things in Miami and with the Dolphins. I gotta stay positive because damn it, somebody got to. You hit that Scotty Pippen in the full case. There you go, my dude. Yeah, uh, I I remember. I think I shouted you out, but you weren't in the chat, so. We have D.D. Westbrook for the Jaguars with the autograph. Damn it, Fournette, if you don't come out to play. Right, the Marlins somehow have two World Series in their existence. Which, fun fact, each time we've made the playoffs, we've won a World Series. Fun fact. Fun fact. But yet the Dolphins can't put a season together. Whatever. Over it. I don't even think I'm going to watch tomorrow's game. I'm just going to sleep in. For the Lions, Jamal Agnew with the autograph. But yeah, uh, Travis, make sure when you before you come down to Miami you hit me up man we'll go have a beer or something I'll show you and the wife you know uh, a, good, a nice night out on the town you know if you guys are a relatively young couple I know where to take you to 249 Cam Newton of the Panthers otherwise I'm just going to take you guys to the Keys where the other old people are at <laughs> 
Keys are be the keys are beautiful though. Dalvin Tomlinson of the Giants with an autograph. Ooh. Give you a blessing. You have been blessed, my son. You have been blessed, nephew. The Panthers in this break, Brandon. Is that what you're talking about, or like in the in like the playoffs? 150 Panini points. Well, we've had three Panini points come out of this case so far. I don't like that at all. He just might. He just might, Ziggy. Let's see. Oh, you mean the Florida Panthers. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I don't follow hockey that much. You know, that I'll never understand how we have a hockey team in Florida. Like, what? Chris Warmly for the Ravens on a grail. You know, the, the Panthers in Florida, in, you know, a hockey franchise in Florida is kind of like a Jamaican bobsled team. It don't make no sense, but there it is. It's ha it happens. For the Saints, Ryan Ramzich with the autograph. I think that's how you pronounce that name. So you're 35 and the wife is 36. Oh, you guys are, you guys are still in your primes. I'll take you guys to Winwood. We'll knock back a few drinks. We'll have a good one. Maybe by then I'll have a girlfriend. Who knows? I'll pay for one. The 25 Trent Taylor of the Niners and Isaiah McKenzie Broncos. Uh, that'll have to get random. It probably goes to Chris anyway. Yo, listen, that's that's probably the only cool thing I like about hockey is that they be throwing down, dog. They be throwing, like, they be scrapping. Uh, I, was telling, I was telling the guys a few weeks ago about how I was watching this movie called Goon. It's uh, about this dude who's, you know, a hockey player. But literally his only role on the team is to fight. And, uh, it was a good movie, it was a good movie. Like, I would love to go to a hockey game. I bet I bet a hockey game is probably fun as hell. Everybody's drunk as hell. Uh, everybody's drunk as fuck. Hooting and hollering. That's my kind of deal. Travis, in November. Hmm. I'll take you guys somewhere nice. I'll take you guys to Wynwood. I'll show you guys the art district, uh, art district down here. Uh, that's kind of like the go-to spot here in Miami for for the for the locals, uh, but for you out of towners, I, I gotta take you to South Beach so you you, you, you can experience that, and uh, you'll get over that fairly quickly. And depending on how much time you guys have down here, you know, I'll probably take you guys down to the Keys and uh, go bar hopping down there. The Keys are actually pretty fun. The Keys, uh, I, I was joking about it earlier, but I'm dead ass serious. There's nothing but old people down in Key West. But those old people know how to fucking party. And talk you wanna you wanna chill on a beach and not have to worry about anything? Oh yeah. Key West, you'll love it. I would take you guys to the Everglades, but I don't think you guys wanna do that. We got fucking dinosaurs out there. Oh yeah, if you've been to Key West then you've you've if you go to Key West one time, that's more than enough times for you to experience Key West. Um, but yeah, you gotta hit up South Beach. Gotta go to Wynwood, see what's up, see what's popping out there. If you guys come in time, uh, you you'll come down and uh, for what what do, what do they call that shit again? Um, like they have like a bunch of art galleries, a whole bunch of stuff out there. Yeah, the Everglades is pretty much. Listen, they got dinosaurs out there. I'm not. I'm not kidding. The Everglades is fucking no joke. 
You've sailed past uh, South Beach a couple times, but never actually been there. It's really nice, man. It's really nice. It's re and you're coming in November. There's really not that many uh, tourists around that time, you know. So that's a, yeah, it's actually a pretty good, cool time to come to Miami. It's not that hot. It's not that humid, so you can enjoy your time here. You would like South Beach, though. I mean, it's, it's chilling. As long as you don't come down here for, like, Memorial Day weekend or Labor Day weekend or anything like that, uh, I strongly advise you do not visit Miami during those times. Because it happens every fucking year. People get shot. People get murdered. People get stabbed during Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, or whatever weekend. You know... It's, it never fails. It never fails. Every year, there's some dipshit out there doing stupid things. So, all the locals know. Labor Day weekend, Memorial Day weekend, July July 4th, all that. Like, don't go to South Beach. Just just avoid South Beach. Uh, not avoiding this, though. Mac Hollins to 99 for the Eagles. Ziggy, I think you're done, man. I don't know. I don't know, dude. You, you keep hitting. <clears throat> Want to be a, be a guest breaker. Listen, we had a guest breaker um, about a month ago. We had this dude, uh, Barranchina, who came through from Portugal. And we ripped... Uh, uh, are they really, Travis? Oh, well, that's, that's nice to know, but not really. Um, yeah, we had this dude, Barranchina, from uh, Portugal. He came through, and we did some uh, we did some soccer breaks with him. It was pretty cool. Adam Shaheen of the Bears with an autograph. November first and second, yeah. Oh, so that's those are the dates you're gonna be down here, Travis. Very nice. By the way, make sure you bring me a birthday present because my birthday is November twentieth. Hopefully, I'm alive that long. So, uh, yeah, bring me a gift. Maybe some lotion for my ashy ass hands. What do we have here? Thomas Rawls. That's an eBay 101. 25 out of 25. NFL Inc. for the Seahawks. Thomas Rawls. So sick. So sick. Oh, Travis, you got you got it all planned out. You Gucci. Yeah, dude, you come down, you know, be a guest breaker, and then we go out out on the town, baby. This, listen, this is Miami. I don't know if you guys have been in Miami, but this is fucking Miami. You know, they, they know they they call New York the city that don't sleep. We don't sleep down here either. You know, they got the clubs out. You know, from what I hear in, in New York, there's clubs and bars that close at two in the morning. Nuh uh not here. Our clubs and bars, we shut down at 4 or 5 in the morning. Phillip Rivers to 249 for the Chargers. You know, I know all the spots to eat at. Of course, I'm a fat boy. So I know all the 24-7 joints. You want some ramen? I got you. You want some pizza at 7 in the morning? I got you. To 199, Aaron Rodgers. The MVP. Insert to 199. You want a burrito at like 5 in the morning? I got you. I know the spots. Just, you know, just make sure you show me the same love when I go to visit your city. I'll be like, yo, I'm in town, dog. Jacob Hollister for the Patriots with an autograph. Dude, I would love to go to Comic-Con. Oh, my God. I'm about, I'm, I'm about to tell Mario, yo, Mario, let me do Pokemon breaks for Comic-Con. I'll do your Pokemon breaks, dog. I'll go out there to Comic-Con, and I'll fucking cosplay. I'll be fucking Brock or, or what? I'll be a fucking Pokemon, goddammit. You understand? I'll have so much fun at that Comic-Con, dude. For the Bengals, Jordan Willis with an autograph. Rip City, West Coast style. You already know. I'm going to hold you to that, Travis. I really am. You too, Tomas. If I'm ever on that West Coast, which I hear is the best coast. Mm. 
All right, we need something huge here in this last box that's coming up. Put this here. Last box mojo. Last box mojo. I would love to go to Utah, man. But if I'm going, it's going to go like, I would go like in January, you know, when it's still cold. I want to go skiing. I want to go snowboarding. Put the digits down. That sounds, hey man, sounds like a plan. Like, I, I might go, it's, it's probably not going to happen because, you know, Jayonce is due in February and Mardi Gras in February. But my boy Corey invited me to his humble abode during uh, Mardi Gras out there in, uh, in New Orleans. And some of you guys have seen Corey, Corey around. He's another big baller, likes to drop a lot of cash, so. He already told me, yo, if I'm ever in Louisiana, hit him up. He invited me to come through for uh, for Mardi Gras, so. Gonna take Rip City on the road, baby. Alright, this is the last box of contenders, y'all. But, those of you guys watching right now, I do have personal boxes available if you guys are interested. Dude, yeah, I've, I've never been, I've never seen snow, ever. I mean, well, when I was, I was born during a blizzard. So, when I was a baby, I saw snow. There's pictures of me playing in snow, blah, blah, blah. Building a snowman, all that other bullshit. But I don't remember none of that. You go to Mexico a lot, Tom? Or I forgot, Tomas. Aren't you Mexican? Or you have a. Uh are you like half Mexican or something? I don't know. Could have sworn you were though. I'm not trying to make fun of you or nothing. I'm just, I'm just asking. Gotcha, Tomas. How often do you go to Mexico? I've been to Mexico once, and it was fun, man. But I, I was there on a cruise, so obviously I didn't spend too much time there. I was in uh, Cozumel. It was really fun. A three-story strip club in Tijuana. That sounds like my kind of my kind of place. I would just be scared of the narcos, which is kind of the same thing I'm scared of when I go to Colombia. So, but at least in Colombia, I'm with my I'm with my family. You know, who are the narcos, so I have no worries there. You got fam down there, so a couple times a month. Oh, that's what's up. That's pretty dope. I wish I could do that with Columbia, man. Mac Hollins. Continuing to hit for Ziggy. Auto right there for the Eagles. Come on, we need something major, major, major here. Been kind of uh, slowing down here as of late, but we got to pick it back up with this last box. Mojo, come on. For the Chargers, Austin Eckler with the autograph. Yeah, someone got to take him to autograph school. But at least he's consistent. He signs the same way like every time. Come on, need to see something crazy. Hey Ziggy, can I ask you something? How much do you love me? I'm just curious, Ziggy. 
How much do you love me? For the Viking Sam Bradford, oh, he almost had me going there for a second. It's backwards. Mac Hollins, I'm sorry, uh, Sam Bradford for the Vikings, the 249 there. Is he still in here? You're, I'm your boy? That still doesn't answer my question. How much do you love me? How much do you love me? You know, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, I, I need, I need like a distance. I need some kind of like value. How much do you love me? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go until you profess your love for me, Ziggy. I ain't doing nothing more. Uh, dude, I have no more absolute to put up. A lot. Well, it's not a juju. It's not a juju, Ziggy. But I think you're gonna like it, cause it's a TJ Watt rookie ticket auto. That's a nice card. That's a nice card. I think that's the second Watt, man. Very nice. All right, last stack here. What do we got? Good luck, you guys. Chad Kelly, cracked ice, 13 of 25 for the Broncos. And those cracked ice cards look so nice. For the Bills, Matt Milano. Now I want Milano cookies. Hit for the Bills. Then here. To one ninety nine, Mike Williams, Corey Davis. And that's probably going to be it for the break. And yes, it is. Not a bad case. Not a bad case. All right. Let's do some randoms here. Fairly quickly with these randoms. So, I have these cards right here, which if you notice, they have a team on the left and on the right side. So the random is going to be fairly simple. Although most of these are probably going to go to uh, Chris anyway. Still got to do what I got to do. So it's going to go to the left or the right team on the front of the card. All right. Simple, simple, simple. Odd number left, even number right. All right. Odd left, even right. The number two, even right. Odd left, even right. So it goes to the right side team. So Titans, Packers, Broncos, Chargers, etc., etc. All right, let me make a note of that. Got him. Made a note of it. And now we have to do the random for Panini points. Now, where the Panini points at? Yeah, I, you know what? People say the same thing about Columbia, and I tell them the same thing. I was like, dude, as long as you're not a dipshit. You have a good time. So I figured Mexico would be the same way. All right, so we're going to do this random here. Fairly simple. For Panini points, we have 150, 150, that's 300. Plus 250, that's 550. 
So it's going to go to one of these lovely folks. Let's take that down. And let's random this. What if what if revolution is twice as good? You ever consider that possibility? All right, let's roll the die. Going zero, so we're going ten times in the random. Top team wins five hundred and fifty putting points. Good luck. Or top name since I got the names up. Good luck, y'all. Six, seven, eight, nine, and the money shot. Top t uh, top spot wins. Chris Blessing. Was there ever any doubt? The real question is, is it going to be better than basketball, than prism basketball? Because prism basketball, you know, aside from flawless and national treasures and noir, was by far, in my opinion, the best. Prism basketball was ridiculous. Boom, got that there. All right, so put any points are going to Chris. Blessing, as it should. My man went ham. But let's do this recap here. Jamal Williams, Packers. Jones, Eagles. Darbo, Seahawks. Pumphrey, Eagles. Myrick, Jags. Hanson Jets, Kaze Falcons, Charlton Cowboys, Williams Ravens, uh, Hayward Steelers, Smith Titans, McMillan Dolphins, Peppers uh, Browns, Kenny G Lions, John Johnston Rams, Vince Beagle Packers, Sean Kaiser, Browns, Chris Wormley, Ravens, Taco Charlton, Cowboys, Walker Jr., Colts, Kelly Redskins, Kittle, Niners, Williams, Chargers, McNichols, Bucks, Reedy, Bucks, Tomlinson, Giants, Douglas, Eagles, Shanahan, Niners, Harvey Clemens, Redskins. TJ Watt. Steelers. Beathard Niners. Milano Bills. Kelly Broncos. TJ Watt, Steelers. Redemption. Eckler. Chargers. Hollins, Eagles. Willis, Bengals. Hollister, Patriots. Rawls, Seahawks. Shaheen, Bears. Hollins, Eagles, Eagles didn't work, Ramsich, Saints, Wormley Ravens, Tomlinson Giants, Agnew Lions, wait hold up, Tomlinson Giants, I feel like I said Lions, Tomlinson Giants, it's getting late, <laughs> Agnew Lions, Westbrook Jags, McDowell Seahawks, White, Bills, Cup, Rams, Passagnon, Chiefs, Bowler, uh, Panthers, Cream Hunt, Chiefs, Cockrell, Giants, Mays, Packers, Jones, Seahawks, Jackson, Bears, Logan, Cardinals, Beckwith, Bucks, Dual auto for Henderson and Taiwan Taylor. That goes to the same dude. Marlon Mack. Colts and by far the case hit. Deshaun Watson. On card. Cracked eyes for the Texans. So nice. It's for the Niners. Niners Kyle Shanahan Angelo. 
So sick, this cracked ice right here. That is so nice. Thank you, Chris. You are a blessing, my dude. Happy New Year to you, my man. And that was it for the break. 2017 Contenders Football Full Case PYT number two. Thank you all very much, and Happy New Year.